We've looked at the settlement itself. Now, through email and text messages from UT officials, we're able to put together what happened in the last few days of Curry's time as AD before his suspension. At some point, either on November 29th or the 30th, Curry flew to Los Angeles to speak with Washington State head coach Mike Leach about the job opening. At 4.26 p.m. on the 30th, Chancellor Beverly Davenport texted Curry saying, we need you to come back to Knoxville tonight. Curry asked what should he tell Coach Leach. Davenport responded, tell him you have nothing more you can talk with him about. At 4.55 p.m., Curry emailed a few high-ranking officials the subject line, Leach. In it, Curry said Leach would make an excellent choice, although the job was not offered. In it, he apologized for a Wi-Fi outage, which caused him to be unreachable for hours. Curry then met in Davenport's office on December 1st, around 9 in the morning, and he was suspended. Sometime after, UT General Counsel Matthew Scoggins texted the agent of Coach Mike Leach, saying they were regrouping for the coaching search. In response, the agent, Gary O'Hagan, said they felt that they had negotiated earnestly and in good faith, and they felt, quote, we had reached and agreed to a deal. Mike Leach, very close to being the head coach of the Tennessee Volunteers.